this, that, and she giving me that. Look at the book as it begins. Young nigga got diamonds on his neck, yeah. Bad, 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 bitch, bad, bitch. Bad, 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 bitch, bad, bitch, bad, bitch. She giving me that. Look at the book as it begins. Poppin' broskies, you know me, big tall gay gang out here. Mm. Loki just trying to just testing out this different angles, you know, different spots. You know, I'm trying to put out quality, you know. I'm like, fuck, honestly, I try to put out things that I would like, you know. Same with my music. I try to put out things that I would like to listen to. You know? It's not the it's, like I care about substance. I'm a substance guy. You can't tell by the type of car I have. Like, you know, appealing to others is not my my forte. You know, I got this car for myself. It's an old BMW. The money I spent, or the money you know, I could be putting into with mods, all that shit. Could already got something new. Could have been had the newest. You know, I'm not trying to be one of them. Like, big. Big personal, big unique things. You know, that's just has more value to me. Literally anybody can go to the dealership. If you have enough credit, and fucking literally go grab the newest car. I don't even care. But good luck choosing the right car that's to be into. Good luck finding that car you want. Good luck finding the perfectly spec one, perfectly maintained one. Like you know, there's a lot of factors out here that's like more valuable, more intense. Like, I don't even know the word. <laughs> I don't know. It's just different. If you know, you know. Tell you. Big you if you know, you know. So, you're about to hit up slow tell you. I never full throttle this car, really. It's awesome. My tune is very aggressive, so throttle ratios are damn near Throttle raises it's perfect, honestly. Fucking, this is a perfect staple benchmark car for actually getting into some like real, you know, 911s. Something really sick. And like, I'll really appreciate it because I'm an analog guy, you know. Control the car and whatnot. And you can just keep eating it up, come back and forth. Okay. Has good um, whatever. Yeah, breathe it.
offer is this again. They're like, they don't just stop and see within. There's so much more accessibility within your mind, within your spirit, than meeting somebody at a cocktail party and going to like another room to just operate in this major like man. Y'all gotta understand this shit was designed like this. There's more than enough money to go around. More than enough. And things are only valued because certain people have a certain amount of money. And in order to make it, you know, worthwhile, feasible, plausible, in order to get to their level, you gotta fucking have things 1.1 million dollar cars 800 dollars like, come on man the other day in the fucking newspaper or some article bullshit man this house was so type derelict they even said it was uninhabitable so either one proceeds to crime and then it was a grow off or some weird shit died in it, some sort of biohazard contamination, something going on in here where you can't fucking live in that crib, but they still want 1.5 million dollars, 1.5, there's so much more people on this earth and so much people without that old money, how the fuck, and y'all gotta understand this shit is designed, yo, it's like you're in a schoolyard and you're playing ball and you, nobody wants to shit this fucking nigga on the, nobody wants to shit his kid on the team everybody wants the sick people to win right same thing with society same thing with the economy to be honest majority of the people are pretty fucking stupid so I don't blame these these monopolists these tyrants to just do what they do type but honestly like I get bored of shit within a like I get a sick car couple months, board off. Do this, board off, board off. Keep going, there's so much. How do these people with this old ass money, like, how do you not get bored of buying all these yachts, cars, what do you, you don't need that shit. Save the world, that should be the best, you know? That should be the best purchase. These fuckers ain't got no soul, that's the problem. They sold out everything for that dollar. That, that psychopathy, you know? You have to have some sort of a psychopathy gene to want to rule over the entire world. To feel so bold as to say your decisions determine how millions and billions of people live. Simply because you feel you're a certain entity and you feel like, you know, you were meant for this and that. The ego. It's powerful. God, I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not going to say I subscribe to any religion. But I'm not going to say that I don't know. I don't believe or anything. Or I don't appreciate anything. But to be honest, I just think this world and what we are and what we live in. It's just way too intricate to be described in like one book or one religion. Or one thing. It's too much. It's too much. There's nothing to... What can you trust nowadays? The way things are going now, it's like, how can you trust that? Like, it makes you question everything. But the thing is, I've been questioning everything. I've been on this. So it's just like, shit does not really phase me. It's, people, it's like, it's type annoying. Like, people come and feel, you know, like they just learned type this shit. And it's like, bro, I've been feeling this shit since I was like 18. Like, what the fuck? It's just interesting to see this paradigm shift that we're experiencing right now. That shift, that name, that like phrase is very powerful. It's reality, you're experiencing this paradigm shift. Like everything is gonna change. Everything, even if once COVID's done, there's still gonna be a percentage of people that are just mad paranoid about it. There's still gonna be a percentage of people that are just not. Never gonna get back to work. I shouldn't say that. There's so many people that off themselves tight. Can't handle the stress. People just started businesses. They can't fucking 
rappers that just started to blow up. Like, life is fun. And like, this, these systems that we have in place, it's, it just exposes how terrible it is. Like, what is it? We, like, this is a symbiosis. We all live on the same planet. We adhere to the same rules. Same economy. We suffer from the same issues. We live here together. Like, what is the point of ruling over each other? It's pointless. But again, shit, that's the what we do, man. We gotta operate in the system any way we can. day today like the past week has been so interesting like I've had all these different types of you know stimulating thoughts and whatnot um, it's like, everything everything that I was like interested in when I was younger reading a lot listening to podcasts about it's just like it's, it seems it's just okay it's just what it is <laughs> it's come to fruition it's weird but like, you know I guess I'm meant to be one of the prepared chosen ones <laughs> allegedly but yeah let's not get too deep into these these talks these late night talks yeah i'm very i'm not one dimensional you know i don't just do the car vids and fucking whatever like it's just one piece of me you know so, i'm gonna pull off for a bit guard gps where the fuck i'm at <laughs> No, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Goddamn, that nigga ain't